Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's an absolutely horrible day and we've been invited out to go pull some gill nets. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! It is a miserable day today. We are pouring down rain, strong winds, but we're gonna go pull some nets and see what we can get. <laughs> Tom put them out yesterday. So they've had a 24 hour soak. I'm not really sure where he's put them, but um, fingers crossed, we can see some flatfish or any other species. We have arrived on the boat. We got Tom with us. Good morning. Thanks for inviting us, mate. No worries. So we're a little bit choppy out there today. So we're gonna go pull the nets and hopefully get a feed. <laughs> Up. See if we can get some nice fish. Tom's put it in a great place. Hopefully there's some fish here. It's right in the causeway of two rocks, as you can see, and there's sand in the middle. Comes. Here comes the net. Popped out the winch. Definitely chose the day today, eh? Come on, fish. We deserve a fish today. Battery decided to die. Tom's got a crab down there. What else have we got? Not too much weed in this one, eh? Amazing how fast that wind pulls us around, eh? Yeah. That's a fish. What, what's that? That's Doggy. silver. Doggy. Yeah. Husk. Well, that's a hus. It's a nice hus as well. It's called a bull hus. Oh, there's another one. There's another. Oh, there's a few here. There's another big bull hus. Member of the shark family, guys. A big spotty one that. Another one? Yeah, another one. Come on, give us a silver fish. <laughs> oh, there's another What's fish that? coming. Doggy. Is that a doggy? No. That's a flatty. Soul. Yeah, that's a soul. Nice. Nice soul there guys. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a keeper. Nice. Little Dover sole. Very nice. Big old bull hus in there. It is a miserable day. <laughs> That's the end of that net, guys. We've got one sole, a few hus in there. I'm going to sort through it. Go on to the next one. Just sorting through the net now, guys. There's a sole coming up somewhere. We've got a brown crab in here as well. Some really big hus. Those. We're getting pushed by the tide quite quick, guys. So we just want to get these done. Get the fish out and then move on to the next ones. It's going to be fun all day long. <laughs> Come on, buddy, how are you coming? Oh, it's a lovely fish, that. Right, tall husk. Yeah, nice fat one. It's the larger, the larger cousin of the lesser spotted dogfish. That's exactly it. Don't want to get bitten by that thing. <laughs> Sorted. 
Two more to go. It's an eater, eh? I'll measure it, just in case that. What's it, 300 mil for soul, was it? Or less? Where is it? Or two 24. 24. Ah, oh, sound. So that one, they always come up. That's got to be in, eh? Yeah, that's just measuring. And yeah, here's 330, this one. Oh, nice. So he's, oh, he's well in size. Beautiful. Well in size there. Nice eater fish, that. Can't be a good old soul. Pretty low, but it's not. There you go. It's like a bar of soap, eh? <laughs> Very nice. Another one down. They completely destroy nets, huss and dogfish like this. So they get in them, they completely twist up. And uh, as you can see, it sends up a mess. Out right, you come, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Straight in the bucket. Session, eh? Yeah, that's quite a chunky one, that, eh? Yeah. Eight or nine pound, maybe. Oh, a nice big one. Yeah, it's quite hairy. Just out there, so. Back she back. goes. <laughs> or he, shall I say. Nice. On to the next ones. Here comes the next net, guys. Gonna have to protect the camera on this because it's windy as hell. <laughs> Very nice. Here comes the net guys, so if there's any wind noise, see how we get on today. Spiders. Oh yeah, spider crabs. Oh, that wind's relentless, eh? Clean. Very clean, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. No colour yet. Another little spider crab. Oh, comes flying in. <laughs> Not hanging around today. No. Nah. Come on, you deserve a guilt head for this. <laughs> Not a spider, is it? Dogfish. Oh, there's some fish coming up now. Dogfish, dogfish. There's a mackerel that's been eaten. I got a lady crab in there. Mackerel, eh? Yeah. What's that? We were never going to escape without a doggy, were we? Nah, that's it. <laughs> it's like, you wash into the region, I think. Oh, that's the end. That's okay. the end there, yeah. That's the end, okay. No guilt's there. Nah, no guilt, Ed. We're going to sort change. these doggies out, guys. We're on to the next one. See, it's a bit wavy today. <laughs> This last net's going to be a fun one. <laughs> last net of the day, guys. It's blowing an absolute hooli. But we're determined. <laughs> We're 
praying for a nice fish. <laughs> what we've got to do is keep keep backing our way out because we're getting pushed into the rocks here. So we're coming in, pulling it up a bit more. We're gonna drift in, pulling it up even more until we get it in. That's the idea. We'll see how we get on. Cuttlefish. Cuttle? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting this in quick, guys. We're not messing around. There's a fish. What's that? Soul. Soul. Nice. nice That's a better one as well, eh? Nice. Yeah, well, we'll get her in and then we'll go. A cuttlefish in there and a sole so far. It's really awkward going because we've got we got wind with the tide pushing us into these rocks. So it's swinging the boat round like crazy. A big old swell today. That it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Nice. We're gonna get this in guys, we'll show you everything else once we're back home. In the marina now guys, just gonna sort through all the stuff. It was horrible out there, eh mate? Yeah, it's, uh, we had to come back in to sort the gear out, it's just nasty out there, I'm afraid. <laughs> little bit yeah. choppy, but there's, yeah, a, there's a nicer sole in here. We'll so, sort through a few of these crabs first. Yeah, then. I'll give you a show. I'm gonna fill the marina up with a few of these. Yeah, <laughs> keep them in there for next year. <clears throat> What else is in there? That's that oh, cuttlefish. I thought that was another yeah, sole. Yeah, it's like, did we miss one? Yeah. In the excitement. Look at that, boys. Lovely sized hass. Oh. Then getting a few in that Spot by the harbour there. Nice sole. There you go. For our two cameras. Yeah. Another <laughs> plug in there. Chuck it in the ice here, I think. There you go guys, there's today's catch. Two sole, one cuttlefish, three nice huss, and a few dogfish. Not bad going. That's not a bad sole at all, that one. That's a nice fat one, that. And we've got the smaller one there. Very nice. Oh. If you want to check out Tom's channel, all right, Wahoo Guernsey Fishing. There you go, Wahoo Guernsey Fishing. If you want to check his channel out, guys, I'll leave the link in the description. He does a lot of this sort of stuff, long lines, nets. Highly recommended. I'll leave the link in the description. We are back in the kitchen, guys. I've cut off some of the cuttlefish tentacles and a little bit of the meat here. And what we're going to do is have some nice, delicious battered cuttlefish. Making this one nice and simple. All I've got is a little tub here with some flour in and I'm going to put loads of salt and pepper. Lovely job. Give that a nice old stir up and that there will dust our tentacles and our bits of cuttlefish so it's all dried out nicely and our batter will stick to this a lot better and as you can see I've kept a lot of the tentacles intact like that. It's a bit of an experiment. I haven't tenderized this. I just want to see what it's like. Cooking it straight from the cuttlefish, fresh, fresh today. 
and see if it's nice and tender or not. So get that all coated up and let's mix our batter. All I'm doing for the batter guys, so I've got some corn flour here. I'm just going to put a little bit of corn flour in there. And then we've got plain flour. And we'll add that. I like to do about 50-50 if I can. And all you do is pretty much just add the seasonings that you like. I'm going to stick a bit of Old Bay in here. Or a lot of Old Bay. <laughs> Some salt and pepper. And some sea salt. Give that a good old stir up. And all we got to do is add either beer or water. I don't have any beers today. So I'm going to use water. Be really nice and crispy. And batter is as simple as that. So there we go guys. There's our batter all mixed up. You can see the sort of consistency. Once you get all the lumps out. <laughs> nice and thick like cream. And that will give you a nice thin layer. And it'll be lovely and crispy. So we've got our lovely pieces of cuttlefish here, guys. What I'm going to do is just drop them into the batter mix. Just give them a good dusting off first. And cook up some delicious cuttlefish. This is just a late night snack before I go out foraging again. So I don't want too much. The rest of the cuttlefish will go to bait for conga fishing. Beautiful. Big old noodle of a uh, tentacle here. There we go guys, looking absolutely delicious. Check that out, quite looking forward to trying this. Usually I would tenderize cuttlefish, but let's see how this goes. Let's get the sweet chili sauce out. Bit of fresh sea salt there, is it? Good. And a lovely dollop of sweet chili sauce. If I do say so myself, that looks absolutely delicious. So there we go guys. Nice bit of cuttlefish, all nice and crispy. That's one of the long tentacles there. And a good old sweet chilli sauce. Mmm. That's not, that's not bad at all. A little bit chewier than uh, if you tenderised it obviously, but mmm. Quite like those, those tentacles, they're like spaghetti. Ooh. Look at that, this is one of the thicker tentacles. Play down, Bob. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I literally cooked these until the batter just went golden brown slightly and took them out straight away. You don't want to overcook um, cuttlefish or any cephalopod for that matter. Because they'll come really chewy. That's perfect. Oh, I've saved one piece for Smash. There's no salt on it. I didn't put any seasonings in it. Just plain batter, just flour, and a big chunk of cuttlefish. So he can have that one at the end if he's a good boy. Hey, Smash. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's delicious. I definitely prefer cuttlefish to squid. 100%. It's got a better, I find it's got a better flavour to it. Leave it in the comments and let me know what you think, guys. Oh, but yeah, my personal opinion, I think cuttlefish is way tastier. Mmm. Right, it's not too hot. Spin. Spin. <laughs> Jump. Yeah, good boy. Big piece of cuttlefish. Not having any more. <laughs> oh, even those thicker pieces. 
it's not chewy. It is delicate, but it's uh, it's got that slight firmness to it. It is really tasty. I wouldn't mind cooking cuttlefish straight out of the sea like this. I really wouldn't. It's absolutely delicious. So big shout out to Tom. Wahoo Guernsey Fishing. Really nice chap. That was one of the most miserable days on a boat you're going to have for a while. Hopefully there'll be a few more videos to come. With the weather at the moment, it's a bit of a nightmare, but hey, you can only do so much. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want any merch, that's under my jumper. Links in the description. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Oh, also, we've got a, a new selection for members. Uh, a lot cheaper option if anyone wanted to join. Totally optional. The videos still stay the same either way, but if anyone wanted some extra content, links in the description as well. So stay tuned, guys.